The London Sunshine Mini Kamado is a small yet very attractive and very capable little cooker that would work great on anybody's backyard, especially smaller backyards. Let's take a closer look at this little grill. You know, I've always seen the big Kamado Joes, you know, and I've always thought it'd be cool to have one, but I never actually just bought one. And then all of a sudden, boom, enter the little guy. This little mini Kamado made its way into my life. One day I got this email from London Sunshine. They were reaching out to me, asking me if I would do an honest review of the little mini Kamado. Now I don't normally do reviews, that's not my thing, but since I always wanted a Kamado, I was like, well, why not? Let me check it out. All right, let's get into checking out this little Kamado grill. Let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about my initial impressions and what I think about it. First of all, when it came in the box, I was like, Oh, it's a pretty heavy little box. It's got some heft to it. You don't have to be a rocket science to assemble it. It came with some little tools. It was very easy to assemble. It took me about 15 minutes. It's built with nice thick walls, so you know it's going to be very efficient, and it's all ceramic, so you know it can last a long time with proper care. It's got a really nice sturdy stand that, I mean, it ain't going nowhere. It's not going to tip over easily. I mean, you really got to hit that thing to knock it over. It also has a very small footprint area. In other words, it doesn't take a lot of space. It's small. You can set it on any table or any outdoor counter. Works really great in smaller apartment and townhouse situations. They usually have very smallish little patios. But even if you have all that extra space and you have other larger grills, you know, there's some days that you really don't want to or need to fire up a big old grill with a lot of charcoal or wood when you can get it done on something small like this. Sometimes it's just you and mama. You just want to make one or two steaks and have a nice, good grilled meal. It actually comes with a temperature gauge which is really something you don't see on a lot of the smaller grills. In my opinion, that's a big plus, especially for beginners, because it really helps with timing your cook. All right, now the first thing I did, once I got it all assembled, I followed the directions. I put just a little bit of heat in there, brought the temperature up slowly to about 200 degrees. Once it sat there for about 30 to 40 minutes, I went ahead and loaded it up with a little bit more charcoal, opened up the lid, let it all get nice glowing red and hot, and I closed the lid and I let it run at 400, and it sat there for about three hours with the charcoal that was in there. I went ahead and let it die down, you know, overnight. I didn't actually cook on it until the next day. Now that's kind of the normal seasoning process on these types of Kamado grills according to what I read in the directions. I don't think you have to let it cool down, but I did just because I was out of time that day, but I could have went ahead and cooked on it if I wanted to. So the first thing I cooked on this little grill was steak and potatoes. You know, we're a meat and potatoes kind of family here in my house. So I cut up these big russet potatoes, seasoned them with a little bit of wow and olive oil, put them on here with a little bit of charcoal in there. It doesn't take a lot of charcoal to cook on this little grill. Set the airflow, temperatures maintained nice and steady. I opened up, flipped the potatoes a couple times, they were done. They looked pretty and they tasted fantastic. And then I went ahead and let it get nice and hot. I added a little bit more charcoal. Remember, I'm still breaking it in. I got it hotter and then I laid down a couple of really good oyster steaks. Then I did, of course, my normal flippity flip method. I flipped them back and forth a few times. The Kamado did an awesome job. It got nice and hot. The steaks turned out fantastic. So that first meal coming out of this little Kamado meat and potatoes, Baby, I'm gonna tell you, it was amazing. Now, one of the things I had done, I closed the air vent on the top and the bottom. That killed the fire instantly. A few days later, we felt like cooking some chicken wings, so I thought, let's test this Kamado on some wings and see how it does. So I seasoned up these wings with some wow, got the fire going, added a little bit more charcoal to the one that was already in there and still usable, got it nice and hot, laid the chicken wings in there, did the flippity flip a couple of times, even added a little bit of barbecue sauce, those wings turned out fabulous. And my next cook on the little Kamado was a big juicy ribeye and some shrimp for some amazing surf and turf action. So again, I reused some of the charcoal that was already in there that I had extinguished from the second cook. So I added a little bit more charcoal, fired it back up again, got it nice and hot, and did the little flippity flip searing action on that ribeye. So then I closed the lid, closed the air on top and bottom, let the temperature come down for a little while. So then I laid the shrimp in there, basted it with a little bit of garlic butter and a dash of wow. Man, those shrimp turned out amazing too. The steak, what can I say, man? It's a ribeye, and the Kamado did an amazing job on both. Now, that was a good little experiment of going from super hot and fast to closing it down for just a little bit, choking the air down, and then grilling the shrimp. That shrimp turned out fantastic, too. Didn't take long at all. All right, let's talk a little bit about the capacity of this little grill and who it might be for. 
It's a small grill, but it can also bake or smoke a great barbecue meal. You could easily get two average sized ribeyes or maybe even three smaller ones and do a really great job with it. You could also get a smaller chicken in there, spatchcocked. It would lay in there really nicely and the little Kamado, in my opinion, would probably cook an amazing bird. You could probably get a whole rack of baby back in here if you cut it in half and put the two pieces side by side. You could probably get four filet mignons in there. Hmm, honey, I think I got an idea for our next Kamado cook. Yeah, baby. So this could be for anybody who doesn't need to cook a large amount of meats every time they want a nice little grilled or barbecued dinner. But even if you do have other larger cookers, it's still nice to every once in a while get home and be able to run a small fire and get the job done quickly. And then you can still choke it down, shut it down, and save some of that charcoal to reuse again next time. I've done it several times already on this little grill and it still has some in there right now. All right, now another question some people may have is portability. It is a small grill, but is this the kind of grill that you wanna throw in the back of the truck and head out camping or maybe to the beach? It's a pretty heavy little grill. I don't know that this would probably be your first choice to throw it in the back of the truck. This is a ceramic grill, so you don't want it rolling around in the back of your truck, number one. Number two, it weighs 48 or 50 pounds. It's a hefty piece of equipment. I honestly think this may not be your first choice to go camping or to the beach just simply because of the weight. However, if you're big and strong and you wanna take it with you and strap it down where it doesn't roll around and fall over, I think it would be a great little cooker anywhere you take it. All right, now let's just talk very briefly about the construction. As I said earlier, it is ceramic. It's pretty heavy duty with some very, very thick walls. The handles are solid, they're firm. The screws are solid and firm. The lid and the exhaust vent are very solid and firm. No Mickey Mouse work here. This is a solid, solid little cooker that I really think that with the proper care would probably last forever. Another question that may come up is, because I've mentioned that it's a very efficient little grill, is how much charcoal would it take to normally cook on here. I'm gonna say about half of your average chimney is about all the charcoal you need in this little grill, and that will last you for a very long time. Remember, it's very efficient. It has small holes up here on the top for the exhaust, and it has a vented little uh, screen over here on the front part too with smallish holes. The charcoal will maintain a nice steady temperature, won't get out of control as long as you have the lid closed. When the lid's closed, because it's sealed with these gaskets, it's super, super efficient. This is the only in and out of air you're gonna get on this little grill. It's gonna cook for a long time with just a little bit of charcoal. So to recap briefly, this little London Sunshine Kamado can be a great little cooker for the money. It's efficient, it's good looking, and it gets the job done quickly. Quite frankly, folks, usually when people do reviews, it's it could be better for this, it could be better for that. As many cookers as I've had over the years and still do have, I honestly can't think of anything that would make this a better cooker. I would like to see like a little table that you could, it could even be an accessory that can be attached to the handles here on the sides where you can set your shaker down, maybe your ice cold beer. But honestly, for the money, this little grill is just great right out of the box. As I said at the beginning, I don't normally do reviews, but this one I did not mind doing. It's a great little grill. I would highly recommend it. If you're looking for a smallish cooker, this might be the grill for you. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. We certainly enjoyed making it for you. I've certainly enjoyed cooking on this little London Sunshine Mini Kamado Grill. It does a fantastic job. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any videos from Arnie Tech. If you're interested in my APC Wow barbecue rub or my APC OG rub, which is just a simple salt, pepper, and garlic in the perfect ratio, you can go to pitmaster.us. If you want to up your barbecue game, you can go to pitmasterclass.us. Folks, thanks for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. Keep the smoke light. Make it work. Wow. Boom. Let's see what we got here. So a few days later, I decided, okay, let's try some chicken wings on here. <laughs> chicken wings. <laughs> the bloopers. Let's try some chicken wings. <laughs>